How's it going? I'm Ryan. Today, I'm going to go over the two trades that I took, one on MES, one on MNQ. Both trades were losers. Uh, let the ES trade get away from me a bit. Ended up being a bigger loser than it should have been, but um, we'll take a look at it. Before we get into the trades, we'll look at some higher time frames and talk about what I was going off of. So we're at the daily chart here looking at MNQ. We're at all-time highs. Um, so there were no real levels to go off of besides all-time highs. We have some down here, previous all-time high and Friday low of day. Um, but that never really came into play today. Yes, similar thing, right? Uh, all-time high level. We have previous all-time highs and Friday low down there. So coming into the day, I was trying to play it a little bit patient, give it a few uh, minutes and see if price would give us a direction, see if we're going to be strong, weak. Um, and just play it from there. So trying to come into the day without a bias and let price action tell me what was going to happen. So I think that's the first thing that caught me up a little bit. We have ES. ES was strong uh, in, a, in a real nice uptrend um, over the past couple days and into the pre-market and open of today's session. So you have a nice move up, pullback, continuation. Um, we're strong, we're breaking through all previous all-time highs, setting new highs on the day and new all-time highs overall. Uh, meanwhile, in Q in the morning, um, you can see we opened right here. So in the pre-market coming up and rejecting off that previous all-time high uh, and then opening and rejecting off that all-time high as well. We came up and broke through finally, uh, set a new all-time high and a new high on the day. And when we pulled back, this is where I entered my first trade. So. I took a long position uh, after we printed this hammer here. Um, we were in what appeared to be a bit of an uptrend, right? We have this low in the pre-market. Um, we have this swing low of the day, and then we move up, make new high on the day, set a hammer here, which appears to me to be an area that we bounced before. Um, so I entered a long position here. My target was pretty much a little bit above the all-time high or the previous day is high so friday's high uh, somewhere up in here kind of where these wicks are is a 15 point move from the entry um so i think like 26 26 somewhere in here um and you know 41 or whatever was was the target so somewhere up in there stop loss was a little bit below the swing low um and you can see we kind of chopped around a little bit and then it stopped me out so this trade I don't think it was a terrible idea, but I think to recognize where we were, uh, NQ is really choppy and you can see the pretty well-defined range um, with the top of the range being up in here and the bottom of the range being down in here. So yeah, I think it's just something that uh, maybe I could have paid more attention to. You don't want to take a trade in the middle of a range and that's what I did. Um, so. It was not terrible, but not great. And I thought with this hammer and kind of making the new all-time highs and new high on the day, maybe we'd have a bit more strength, especially printing that hammer um, in an area that we'd bounced before, thinking that we'd get a bit more carry through. So that was my first trade of the day. Um, respect my stop losses, $95 loss with five contracts. Uh, so it was about eight points for my entry, targeting 15 points, so about a two to one. Not a terrible trade, uh, but realistically, probably should have been looking more at the range that we are in, realizing that until we break out of this range, we are in the range. So uh, seeing that we were rejecting off of here, uh, making a pretty clear area where we bounced here, you know, taking this bounce in here would have been a better idea uh, or any of these bounces lower. So that's, that's that. It was not a great trade. It was in the middle of a range. Uh, I was just looking for some continuation. And the reason why I thought we might get some continuation is because ES was really strong, like I showed. Uh, it's in an uptrend. It's making higher highs, higher lows. Um, and it was really strong through the pre-market in the early morning session. So I was hoping that we'd get a little bit on NQ, but it did not follow. That was my first trade. Um, my second trade was on ES. And what I really wanted to see on ES, this is pretty much the only setup that I really had coming into the day, was a retest of this previous high. Uh, so previous all-time high, um, pretty big like point in terms of technical uh, standpoint. We have Friday's high of day, 
previous all-time high. We broke through it in the pre-market. You can see this is pre-market we broke through, opened, and then continued to set new highs. I wanted to see a pullback and hold of this area and then continuation. Um, and so that was the trade that I entered. I entered my first position uh, and I added to this position. So I entered my first uh, with a few contracts, I think three contracts in here. Um, and I set my target a bit higher. So my target was somewhere uh, not quite high a day, but it was about an eight point move. Um, and for this reason, I moved my stop loss down as well to give it a little bit more room uh, because I was targeting a bigger move. I wanted to see us return and potentially set new all time highs. Um, once we came down, we formed this wick here. We didn't quite hit Friday's high, uh, but we did form a hammer and that's when I entered. So I entered one position here. Uh, when we came down and we held this Friday high, I entered more to my position. I averaged in at a lower price because uh, my, my initial buy was somewhere in here around like 56.29. Um, so I entered closer to this Friday high level that I wanted to see us hold after we got this nice hold here. Like I said, I was giving a bit more wiggle room um, for my entry. That was, you know, about a five point swing. I was targeting about eight, eight points to the upside. So I was willing to let it uh, swing a little bit, especially after seeing it hold on this close here. So I entered more here. Um, my average price was somewhere at like 528, I believe then, uh, or 5628, somewhere in here. So I was in profit a few times at this point, and the reason why I held through all this uh, is that we did have a bit of a resistance trend line that we had formed since we set that all-time high. Uh, you can see it here. Um, and when we came down and we retested this low of day, set a bit of a double bottom, and then broke through, uh, that to me, I felt pretty confident that we were going to resume this this move up to the upside, uh, and so I added in, and I was willing. So I added a few more contracts, uh, and I was willing to kind of hold and see if we can get a bigger move to the upside, and have a have a nice move, try to capture, you know, something a little bit larger than just a few point scalp. So we came down, held Friday's high again, um, looking pretty bullish, you know, breaking through this downtrend holding that high a day, um, previous high a day. But then we just couldn't follow through uh, and we kind of sold off. I cut my loss on this candle here. Um, I held through this. Once I saw this candle here uh, coming up and retesting that previous all-time high, I should have probably cut it knowing that that break and retest of that crucial level uh, wasn't good for an upside. You know, I would have wanted to see it break and uh, close back above it, which we did not do. We got two consecutive wicks, and especially this one's pretty telling. So I cut when we broke this low here. Uh, so it ended up being about an eight point loss. Um, and all in all, I had 13 contracts. It was about a $500 loss. Um, and with my previous loss, that brings me to, or is a little over $500. It brings me to about like 610. So we're down 550, about a little less on the account overall. Today was a bigger loss than I wouldn't take. I just, for some reason, was in denial, thinking that we would we'd get this continuation, this uptrend. Um, and especially while I was watching this, uh, in, in Q in the morning was, was a bit weaker than ES, right? It was a bit choppier. Uh, but while ES was sitting here uh, making lower lows, in Q, I watched at the same time, had made a low of the day and made this massive rally, setting new high on the day and new all time highs. So I was watching the strength in NQ uh, pushing up throughout this time and kind of holding on, hoping that the ES would get a bit more of that follow through as well. So it just didn't. The two stocks did not really track each other. Uh, their two futures didn't really track each other very well today. Um, when I was looking at them, I was getting kind of mixed signals and thinking that I had more confirmation in my trades than I really did. So this one wasn't, I don't hate this trade. I just think uh, I held too long. So that's all I got. Uh, two bad trades. Or not necessarily bad, but uh, two losing trades. And then, um, yeah, got off for the day. We'll come back. 
we set new all-time highs, so we're pretty much in the same position as we were this morning coming into it. Um, I think I'm going to probably stick more towards NQ. Um, yes, just I don't know if I was reading it wrong or if I just it was a bad bad luck, but I feel like I had a difficult time trying to read that. Anyways, that's all I got. Thank you for watching. I do trade live Monday through Friday, so I'll be here all week. Um, stop by. We'd love to have you. Hope you have a great rest of the day. Peace.